guys, welcome to Rinky's Angelican. We are back with tarot readings. Uh, before we begin, wishing you guys a very happy and a prosperous new year. I hope your 2019 was good and the coming year will be better from this year. Whatever you want, 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 self-sufficient, content feel in this year. I always say that you practice gratitude. Practice. It's never too late. You know, start practicing your gratitude from today. Now, we are tarot reading for January. It's not for the whole year. How does your 2020 look like? We have four tarot cards, one angel message, one self-growth card. In brief, we will read about 2020. What should you do in the coming year? Where should you do? What are the possibilities? What should you do in the area? What should you do in the priority? Any advices, any guidelines that tarot wants to give you is right here. Please आप बताइए मुझे कि ये videos आपको कैसे help कर रहे हैं comment कीजिए I always love reading your comments और अगर आपने channel को subscribe नहीं किया है तो please subscribe कीजिए bell icon को click कीजिए ताकि every time I upload आपको एक notification आए मैं romance angels cards भी करने वाली हूँ और काफी love readings और ये सब plan है so I hope you know you are subscribed to the channel and yes Without any further ado, I think we should just start. We begin with Aries. Aries, I have four tarot cards for you. One angel message, one soul's journey card. It's, it's going to be a brief reading about 2020. Let's begin. So the first card that we have is Page of Cups. This card right here talks about your journey. You know, how 2020 is looking like. I feel emotionally it's going to be a much stronger year for you. If there were any cups, any downfalls in 2019 where it felt like, you know, you're not doing emotionally well. There were a lot of challenges for you. This card is like your savior. It's like a positive sign from the universe telling you that, you know what, you're going to feel much stronger emotionally. You have a lot of more clarity to look forward to in terms of your professional aspect. If there were any blockages, if there were any areas where you felt, you know, you lacked behind and you didn't know what to do, how to walk forward. This tells us there is a lot of clarity. This card also talks about, you know, the second card that we have is the card of swords. This tells me you want to walk forward. You know, you want to release any sort of baggage, any sort of grudges. This also talks a lot about influence, if there was an influence. I see you taking the leap of faith and walking forward, which is great. So somewhere, if you still feel, you know, there is an influence, if you still feel there is a power that's holding you that's stopping you and you know what needs to be done go ahead and do that don't let this influence take charge on you so majorly because there are certain major steps i see change i see movement definitely but it also at the same time feels like you know you've you've been tied and you're unable to walk forward here comes the card which is like your strength it talks about power so somewhere professionally and personally i feel you have the power you have the courage to walk forward but because of certain influences you're not taking that leap of faith remember the hierophant talks about taking the leap of faith understanding because i feel there's a lot of clarity and which is why it talks about there are also certain people around you will be very very supportive of what you're doing of the decisions that you're making they will come along with you in this journey so somewhere it's just something like you know do not hesitate just walk forward what is stopping you so bad last card again a card of swords this tells me yes it, it honestly speaking it doesn't look like an exceptional year for you guys like I always emphasis on color and we don't have any yellow color it says you know there will be days would would just be like very monotonous you know very sort of routine stuff and and you wouldn't know you would always want good things you always want changes all of that but it also talks about certain areas of your life where you feel a little dependent on somebody so somewhere it just says that it's going to be a phase where you have to keep a lot of patience where you have to understand that your journey is you know is, is made up of all of this it's a part and it's a phase that shall pass by so 2020 looks like major good changes don't let anybody stop you emotionally you're doing really well you know there is a lot of strength power emotionally 
this also talks about the power and courage to walk forward fearlessly taking certain major steps and knowing also you know the best part about this card is there are certain people around you who are very very encouraging who are supportive of what you are doing and that's really important for you there will be monotonous days there will be struggles there will be period where you would just feel like it's it's come to a pause and i don't know what to do that's the period to review to rejuvenate and know that yes there are certain dependency here and there but you're doing it well um angel message for you is problem resolved you know it just talks about certain problems that were affecting you maybe in the past maybe in the present it's just telling us it's resolved stop struggling about it stop sort of you know so so uh, basically the focus is is about to shift right now it's telling you it's the time to sort of channelize your energies well that problem is solved understand you are taking or walking on to the next step right now do not get things stagnant know that this is a time where you need to move this is a time where there is growth another card which is about self growth it's about imagination you know like i already said there is clarity there is improvement there is growth this card only says that you know you have a lot that you're imagining it's the time to put your imagination to action to words and you will see immense growth coming your way so i hope you guys have a great 2020 and you know you kind of um, follow these steps and know what your priority is focus on self is always always a must that's about it i hope uh, you like the reading do comment down below and stay tuned stay connected for lots more thank you